few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, Father. To hell with this place. She is. It's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. Hear me all the way where you are, goddess, but thank you. Let's see how quickly I can slay you all. show up, I guess. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. You've got quite the fighting spirit in you there, I have to say. Most intriguing, and yet no surprise for someone born in hell itself. You come on out of there and tell me all about it. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. it has its own reward. Absorbed by 
high blow. All set. More darkness. I'm hurt. Can't heal myself. But I can fight. Must have lots of these upon Olympus. of Hades work. Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Some of us more than others. Stupid boy. 
I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. Though how is your wanton ransacking of my domain? Greetings, father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go, see for yourself. There's a good boy. If I don't pet your other heads, don't bite my arm off, deal? Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions, from purest joy to deepest melancholy. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. Not as comfy as it looks. You have come home. Do not despair, child. Such setbacks are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. You made contact with the goddess Athena. She shall be true to her word. I believe it, Nyx. I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. The risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Yes, we are. Then go. Hey, room. I'm back. Night and darkness guide me. The power of night. I'll sleep when I'm dead. The bedchambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray, despite his lord and master of the house repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. Oh, come on, it's not that bad, is it? Okay. There we go. Cora knocked. The heart seeker. Let's deal some death. Psst, oh yeah. What the? Wow. Oh please. Thanks you got here, boyo. Name's Skelly, how's it going? But enough with the small talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. If you insist. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, keep going. I can do this. First get past the wretched shades of Tartarus. Easier said than done. And doubtless I'll be running into Meg. The river of flame ought to be just beyond. Find a way up to Elysium from there, and after that... All right. Let's give it another shot. I can escape from the courtyard back there.
no keepsakes yet. All right, one more time. Thunder, is that, is this really him? Okay, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult, and he's not so much as called in quite some time. You'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. Lord Uncle Zeus lending his support. Never thought I'd see the day. Or night. Whenever. Revelry? People having a good time? Well, sure then. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I'll accept this message. Hey there, Zag man. How's it going? Look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. Lagging things up around here.
darkness. Let's see what's in here. Should help keep me going. Sure I know of. Well, several, really. Anyway, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. I heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. Sounds like good company to keep. They got me. No way to patch up. Got to keep going.
I'm rich. I hear the river. Kieran's shop. <sighs> Cheers, mate. Kill or be killed. Good to see you, Charon, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the sides, and sure is awfully convenient to be running into you like this. I had all this coin I wanted to get rid of. Charon, you've been such a reassuring sight, I thought I'd offer you a token of my gratitude. Wait, you don't have to give me something in return. It was a gift. Though... You're insisting, aren't you? I don't know what to say, mate. The infernal wares of the Stygian boatman Charon lie sprawled about. Available for sale, Doom ever will be willing to quench the boatman's great thirst for riches. That will be me. Interloper. something back home. I don't think I've gone this far. How do you do? That ought to keep me going for a bit. Beyond the present chamber lies the outermost perimeter of Tartarus. Promising terrifying dangers far beyond the underworld prince's reckoning. And I can reckon quite a bit. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Hot Sagrius. Not one step further. Come on, Megan. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? 
Besides, don't you have someplace else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back like a good little man, or I can send you home the painful way. What'll it be? I'll have to go with the painful way. A man after my own heart. me, father. Can wash away my boons. and the trusted inner circle of Lord Hades are authorized to enter the intricate chambers connecting the vast regions of the underworld. But the prince decides to barge in anyway. I barred where I please. That's enough Tartarus. <laughs> Now we're getting somewhere. The once verdant plains of Asphodel are now engulfed in scintillating flame, having been flooded by the river Phlegathon, whose hideously superheated contents could bring death swiftly even to those resistant to most heat. I'm only flame resistant, not flame proof. Wasn't this whole expanse once lush and green? Bloodless.
key. better than that. Huh? Why, you look like someone who just got beaten silly by a dirty skeleton. Beaten well beyond the brink of death, I ought to say. And sure enough, according to my list, you did. Those bloodless sure are tough. Right. All of this knows of him bestowing on them all their worthless blessings here within my realm. Our realm. Explain to me how exactly this is possible, Nix. Either your limitless power has considerably waned, or you are up to something. Do not question my power, Hades. Your son was bound to be discovered the closer he came to the surface. The Olympians are pleased to know they have a distant relative and bid him welcome to their mountain. That is all. Their influence is very limited. Heart and darkness, do not speak to me about their influence. I've seen their influence firsthand. You've made a foolish mistake. You would speak to me of foolish mistakes. You cannot change the course that has been set. Try all you like. Nix! God. 
Guess what, boy? Made it all the way to Asphodel last time. I fully understand how come you never liked it there. Now to trek on back, I guess. <laughs> Despite the Underworld Prince's optimism, his old companion Cerberus, the multi-headed hound, maintains a somewhat sulky attitude for now. Not everybody knows exactly how to give you pets and live to tell of it, right, boy? <laughs> Some sort of special offer for me, my good shade. Work authorized. A fountain chamber in the depths of Tartarus sounds like an excellent idea. What's that there? Something from the fates? saying I went easy on you, Zag. Don't worry, Meg. I eventually managed to get home the painful way after all. Look, I have a reputation to uphold. You get past me again like that, you best go all the way. Now leave me be and don't think you're gonna be so lucky next we meet out there. should do it. Skelly? Back, huh? Hey, Skelly, you look like you know your way around Tartarus. Found some of this ancient Titan blood out there, and I was looking to score some more. Ah, you come to the right place regarding that there, pal. It's your mean weapons back there that can find this stuff. Once you get all the way through Tartarus with one, that's all the blood you're gonna get. For the time being, anyhow. How am I supposed to keep track of which weapons I've earned these with, then? I don't know, there's always the invention of writing stuff down. You'll figure something out. Got something new to try. Might help. Open up. Aegis, shield of chaos. Lend me your power. Change your plan there, huh? Good one. Almost felt that. Once was a small lounging area within the House of Hades, now is sealed off in utter shambles since the multi headed Cerberus tore the space apart, mourning the missing prince. Cerberus destroyed the lounge again. You've returned. Good to see you, lad, despite the circumstances. Remember your training out there. The pain of death is but another obstacle. And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles.
House of Hades, that dark and lavishly appointed lair of the Underworld's king, is home not just to him, but to his willful progeny. You know I can hear you, old man. Who is next? Speak up. <laughs> 